Hey guys, so it's Fahima here. Uh, today I'm recording a hair tutorial. I know a lot of you guys have been asking at least one of us to do a hair tutorial, so I'm like, why not? So here it is. So I like to do my hair as soon as I get out the shower when it's like soaking wet. So the first product I'm using is Pantene. I know a lot of people say you shouldn't use Pantene because of the sulfates and all that, but I've been using it for years and I personally love it. So I use Sheer Volume uh, Pantene. It's, I use it in the shower to like detangle. So I just rub in the product throughout my hair and then I separate it because I do one side at a time and I use a paddle brush. Yeah, so I just comb my hair through, make sure the product gets deep within the roots and the ends. And then, yeah, I just separate it, put one side up. And then I just comb the other side, make sure to get everything nice and combed. So this is the second product I'm using. It is the olive oil hair lotion. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this product around or have used it. Um, it's actually amazing if you just use a little bit. Don't go overboard because it can definitely weigh down your curls. So yeah, definitely I've tried this before and I used a lot once and it really just weighed down my hair so it wasn't a good look. So yeah, just use a tiny bit. It's really good for like oiling your scalp and making sure it's nice and moisturized so yeah just make sure you get the ends too guys with this olive oil because it's really nice yeah so i just rub that in nicely then i open the other side and make sure i get some of that in there just a little bit guys don't forget don't go overboard with this product because it will weigh down your hair So this is the next product I'm using. It is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Multivitamin Fizz Taming Smoothie. I love this product, guys, and it smells really good. I use this as one of my other like layering conditioners, one of my base conditioners. You can also use it in the shower to like detangle and stuff. So yeah, I just use a little bit of this product as well to rub through my hair. So yeah, once again, I just comb the product through my hair. Then the next product I use is a product by Eden. It's the Coconut Shea uh, Natural Defining Cream. And yeah, it's another product that helps define my curls nicely. Um, yeah, so this is another product I just layer within my hair. Once again, just use a little bit. So what I tend to do is I use a lot of different products, but I use a little bit of each product. So then it ends up being a lot of product in my hair, but it works for me personally. This is my next product. So this product is by Uncle Funky's Daughter. That's a random name, but yeah, that's the name of the, the brand. And this spray is a leave-in conditioner. Uh, it's called Midnight Train. And then my next product, I love this. This is probably something that doesn't change because like everyone knows with curly hair, after a few months you get sick of certain products so you want to try different things. So these are all the products I'm using now but it definitely it changes a lot. So yeah, but this one has been a product I've been using for a while. It's the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Recipes. It's from that line and it's called Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curl Gel. So for my hair type, I definitely need like a gel to like kind of hold in with all the products and actually hold the curls so it's like nicely defined. Yeah, you can see in between products that I like to just comb everything through. So this is the next product I like to use. It's by Fantasia. It's basically a heat protector because after I put all the products in, I like to defuse or use a blow dryer and this could definitely protect your curls. So 
So yeah, this is usually the last step um, when it comes to products. Like this is usually the last product. I like to twist it within my hair. Um, yeah, it actually leaves like a nice shiny finished look. So yeah, now I just repeat everything I did, every step um, on the other side of my hair. So guys, after I just grab a dead sheet or a bati, and I love using bati's um, on my hair to towel dry it instead of an actual towel. Well, just so like it doesn't suck out all the products that I spent so much time putting in my hair. But I just push it back a little bit just so I can do the edges. And for the edges, I use the Eco or Echo, whatever it's called. Um, I use the Argan Oil Styling Gel, like the red one. I think that's my, that personally, that's my favorite. That's the one I love to use. I've tried the olive oil and even the original, but this one has just a bit, been a consistent favorite of mine. So this is the one I always buy. Okay, so I killed some time, let my hair air dry for about like an hour and a half. I uh, just watched some shows, did my makeup, got ready. So now it's time to diffuse. And if you don't have a diffuser, it's totally fine. Like I know for years I've been using a blow dryer. Like just put it on low heat or even just do it on the cool setting. It takes a bit like a lot longer, but to be honest, it's better for your hair. And the curls actually turn out nicer. Like when you put it on high heat, personally, I feel like it tends to get frizzier and the curls don't last as long. As you can see, I'm kind of just jamming out to some music just to kill some time. Whatever you could do to blow dry your hair, honestly, just do it. Like sometimes I even grab my laptop, put it in the washroom, put my headphones in and even watch shows while my hair is drying. I like to go on social media sometimes, just grab my phone, check emails. Like you can just do anything you want as you're just blow drying, honestly. Don't forget to just flip your hair over as you're blow drying also or diffusing just so you can give your hair some more volume like when you do it upside down it just tends to like just end up being bigger okay so once my hair is nice and dry what i like to do is to just shake it out scrunch it out because sometimes the product can leave your hair a bit stiff so what you need to do is just just shake it all out so after you zhuzh it out and make it nice and big and like scrunch up your hair I like to grab an afro pick and just kind of comb just to make my hair even bigger and just create more volume. This afro pick will be your best friend when it comes to just creating more volume. But this is a step that you can definitely skip if you just want it to be just more tamed and stuff, but I definitely like the bigger look. So yeah guys, this is my curly hair routine. This is my wash and go. You know in the summertime, I definitely don't blow dry, I'm being honest. Like I just walk out the house and let it air dry. Within the day, I bring my afro pick and I just comb it out when it's fully dry, shake it out. You can skip the diffusers and hair dryers in the summer. But in the winter, I like to just make sure my hair is nice and dry before I step out the house. But yeah, this is my curly hair routine. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.